Hey, it's Bobby Bartlett from BobbyHonda.com and Criswell Honda of Germantown, Maryland. Wanted to show you the Apple CarPlay, which is a new feature, very highly anticipated in the 2016 Civics and the Accord. We're in an Accord right now, but it looks exactly the same on the Civic. This is a great new feature that gives you unprecedented connectivity between your smartphone, in this case an iPhone, and your phone's uh, entertainment system. There's also a feature called Android Auto, which works for Android phones, We'll explore that one in another video, but for now, we're going to take a look at Apple's offering and check out the Apple CarPlay. So here is your 7-inch display audio screen. It's the same screen on both the Civic and the Accord. Like I said, looks exactly the same, works exactly the same. You've got this spot here, spot here that says Smartphone Connection. So I'm going to go ahead and hook up my phone through the USB. This is something you have to do through the USB. Unfortunately, it will not work through the Bluetooth. Uh, you may have heard Apple has worked on a new technology called wireless CarPlay. Uh, that unfortunately requires a Wi-Fi network rather than a Bluetooth connection because CarPlay is essentially a, a form of the same AirPlay that is used between your phone and your, you know, a Mac computer and an Apple TV, which is all a Wi-Fi connect connection. None of that works through Bluetooth protocols. Uh, but so we will fire up the CarPlay. And so you see your home screen here. It looks very similar to what you're used to on an iPhone or an iPod or an iMac, uh, excuse me, iPad. Uh, it's got your, your basic apps. So it does not have all of the apps on your phone, which is a good thing because most of those are not something that would be safe to use while you're driving. You wouldn't want to look at Twitter while you're heading down the freeway. Uh, so we've got a selection of apps. They're not all the Apple default. As you can see, I've got the, the major league baseball at bat, uh, audible, which is an audiobook app that I use and Pandora on here. Uh, your basic options, phone, music, maps, messages, audiobooks, podcasts, now playing. The Honda button here will take you back to the main screen. Let's go back into CarPlay because that's what we're showing off. Uh, so we'll start off with music because that's the thing that most people are going to use a lot. That and the navigation. So you plus play. You get my theme song going here. Turn it up a little bit because the RZA is bumping. So... So you hit, just like on an iPad, turn it down a little bit, just like on your iPhone, you touch the uh, the button that looks just like the home screen on your phone to go back to the main screen. Uh, I'm going to stop that because he's going to start swearing pretty soon here. Um, bad RZA. So anyway, you have your music there and that lets you, let's go back here. You have the option of radio. You can select uh, your playlists got all your artists here select by song let's see what we have under more it's it's just like the music app on your phone but the different things that it gives you uh the radio is pretty cool because you get the the beats one which is one of the new apple music features on there um so yeah a lot of good stuff there again just like on your phone you go to the now playing thing and it has the same thing from the home screen so this will take you to whatever's playing if it's from another media app um maps this is a cool thing to have because it, it's it's the same maps, the same navigation that you're used to on your phone. Um, so you can see here, this is in a, a night mode. So it, it's, you know, got the darker thing. Um, I'm right now in, uh, in Annapolis, Maryland. So this is giving me directions back home. You can see these orange spots where it gives you, there's traffic, things are backed up. Um, so that's pretty cool. So it gives you home, ETA, one hour and seven minutes. If I were driving right now, it would shift to the uh, it would shift to the 3D view that you're used to in navigation. It'll go turn by turn. Uh, so that's pretty cool. One thing to note about this is you are not even though this screen supports uh, you know the pinching and and swiping and all of that. Uh, all of that is supported by Honda's uh, display audio screen, but uh, Apple had to develop this for all kinds of different screens, uh, some of which don't have that. So in order to zoom in or out, you do have to touch these uh, zoom in buttons. One more thing before I hit this home button to take you back to the home screen, just like on your iPhone, you hold that button down. How did the Redskins do last weekend? So that gives you your Siri. Redskins, of course, won, had a nice win over uh, The Redskins downed the Bills by a score of 35 to 25 last Sunday. And hail to them. 
Uh, okay, so let's see here. Go back to the home screen. So that's pretty cool. You can access Siri through that. You also have Siri access through uh, the button on your dash that uh, is used for voice commands through the Honda system. So you just hold this down. And it's the same thing with Siri. Uh, we don't need to activate Siri or ask what the weather is going to be. You, if you're watching this, I'm sure you're familiar with Siri. Uh, so messages. It will not display your messages on the screen. Again, that is a, a safety thing. Uh, one moment. Would you like to hear your own red messages or create a new one? Well, I couldn't just tell Siri to not listen to me for a minute there. So when you first open the uh, when you first open the messages, it asks you it, it is in a position as though you're about to dictate a message to it. Uh, so this all works through the voice. Uh, so you hit that. To whom should I send your message? Sean Devlin. What do you want to say to Sean? Hey man, check out the new feature on the Apple CarPlay. Your message to Sean says, Hey man, check out the new feature on the Apple CarPlay. Ready to send it? Nope. Okay, I won't send it just yet. Let me know when you're ready to continue. So obviously I'm not going to send that to him because he would be very confused and has no context for what that means. Um, but anyway, and it'll, you can read a message. Papty Bartlett said, I will be there in 10 minutes. So Want I could to reply. No. Okay. So again, having all of this driven by Siri is great for, you know, keeping your hands on the wheel, focused on the road. Uh, you know, some of it does require some touch inputs, but it's it's minimal, no different than if you were to adjust the air conditioning on your car. Uh, let's go back to the home screen. Uh, phone works much the same way. It's going to pull up Siri. I help you? Cool. Don't want to do that, Siri. And, you know, it goes your contacts. And again, looks exactly like your, your standard uh, iPhone phone app. You got your favorites, recent contacts, uh, keyboard. If you wanted to dial manually uh, rather than by Siri, you have that option. Um, voicemail. Um, audiobooks, you know, it has all the, it, it has the, it draws the audiobooks that you have in the, uh, in the iBooks app. So you have your Pandora app. So you hit that and it brings up. All the different uh, all the different stations that you have set up. You can put on Beck Radio. Let's see. Lord only knows. So again, if you go back to your main screen and you go to now playing, it'll show you that. So this is some old school Beck off Odele. I'm definitely down with that. We'll kill the music. So yeah, this is a, a really great system. We'll take a look at podcasts real quick, but it looks much the same as everything else. Um, you know, the other the other menus here. So uh, if you have your podcasts here, pull them up and you're good to go. So that is basically the tour of the Apple CarPlay. Really cool new system. It's it's not flawless. Like it doesn't have quite the speed and responsiveness that you're used to on your phone. Uh, that said this is the first generation of this technology and it's a huge leap forward. Um, you know, Honda's is pretty nice, but in the past, historically, uh, a lot of cars, uh, the systems that you interact with are very crude, um, unrefined. So this adds a nice bit of polish to the, to the, the system and the experience of, of using your, your media, uh, your audio media in this case, uh, in the car, integrates it all very nicely. Having the maps there is fantastic. Uh, it enhances the Siri support that you already have through the Bluetooth. Uh, so I'm going to have to give this feature two thumbs up. I'm very excited about it. It's really cool, and uh, I would love to show it off. So uh, that is it for us tonight here. Uh, Bobby Bartlett from BobbyHonda.com, Criswell Honda. Can't wait to show you how some of this stuff works, and we will take a look at the Android Auto before too long here. So thank you so much.